everyone, welcome back to Jim's Garage Toys. Today I'm going to be working on my GR Corolla and I am going to be installing the 2024 upgrade parts on my 2023. So there's been a few people that have already done this, but I thought I would go ahead and try and do a video on the parts and the installation of them. Uh, it's not terribly difficult, but I'll go ahead and show everybody the process so that if they choose to do this themselves, then they can go ahead and do it. So with that being said, let me show you what the parts are and we'll go ahead and get started. So here I've got the parts laid out. We've got the two vents that have been um, changed so that the airflow is better and on the circuits, the front vents can be opened where they're closed. We've got the two front bolts for the steering rack with the new nuts for that. Uh, the two rear bolts for the rear um, chassis, the rear chassis bolts here for the subframe. We've got four pieces of the aluminized tape that go on it also. This is kind of probably the most controversial part of it but this is essentially the things that they've changed. And uh, from what I've been reading, there's, it's kind of amazing the science behind some of these uh, parts, especially the, the tape and the aerodynamics of the vents, just how subtle a little change can make it in the stability of the car. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. I've got my car up on my lift to make this a lot easier and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, I'm under the car and to start with, I need to take this front panel off the car and it's held on by a bunch of 10 millimeter screws going all the way around. And so, and then we're also gonna end up taking off these side corner panels so we have access. So I've got this under tray loosened so we can, I can see up in there. And I did take off the tray behind it. I don't necessarily think you have to, but I did it so I can have a better access to show you guys. And so there's the, there's the vent. And this is where the tape goes. And so there's the vent coming from the front bumper and then the tube. And then the piece that we're replacing is just around the corner there on the inner fender well. So you can see the two screws. They're the silver pieces there. So I have to undo the screws, take those off, and then there's two tabs that we push and that will disengage that and we can pull that out and have access to the plastic tabs that we can pull out the other piece and swap it. So I'm just getting these screws on. easier to use that than trying to twist it. So, and then here's the, there's the tab. So you see there's one and there's the other one. So I need to
this just slides right into those two pieces. Perfect. Let's take a look at what this looks like from the outside. Oh yeah. See that just uh that just unclipped. That's what that does, those clips. So perfect. So this is the vent we need to replace. So here we need to take these two clips out and this clip out and then replace this with this. So, and it's just the shape of this opening that has changed for better flow and stability. I just wanted to show you guys that these clips are very small and very delicate. So take your time working them out. So don't be rough with them or you will be buying some new ones drop that one but those the two on the outer are very small amazing how the little bit on the original this piece right here is angled over more than this one so the new piece opens up this airway right here for better airflow and this one restricts it a little bit causing more turbulence amazing what a little tweak will do well, i've got the location right there kind of right along this place that i'm going to be putting the aluminized tape now mine is an early 23 and it does not have the bumper marked out like some of the other ones showed in the later 23s. But I can see from some of the placements of where other people have put them that I can see the general area where it goes. And so I think I'll be pretty close. And uh, so that's where I'm gonna go ahead and put it and I'll show you after I stick it on there. There's the first piece in. So now I just gotta put the piece of ducting back on and that one will be done. So there's the, uh, if I can get the camera up in there. There's the tape all installed. Got the ducting back together, screws back in. So, this left front side is all done. Yep. Got the right side one apart. There's all three pieces. And it always amazes me how much faster it goes once you've done one side. It literally took me about two minutes to get all the pieces out. So, obviously, same process, just the other side. Okay. the passenger front right front side all put back together so <clears throat> that part of it is done so we got the aluminum tape done and the wheel vents done so I'll get this part buttoned up and we'll move on Okay, moving on to the steering rack bolts. This is it right here. And you can see the top of it right here where I have my wrench. So, I'll go ahead and try to loosen that bugger. And I'm going to do this, I'll try to do this the easy way by using my torque buster here. So, go ahead and do this. I won't 
do this on camera because it's too loud, but let's see if this takes this off pretty quick and easy. I am not gonna lie, there is something about having the right tool that literally loosen these two suckers in seconds. <laughs> so I will get these off and we'll thread the new ones on. So here's the old bolt that I just took out. And then here's the new upgraded 24 volt. I can't, physically they look identical. The only difference that I can see is that on the 23 it's marked with an I or a one on it. And on the new one, it's marked as either a 10 or a zero one, depending on how you look at it. But they look physically the same. When torquing these, these are torqued to 98 foot pounds. And you want to do it three stages. You want to torque to 32, then 65, and then 98. So do it in three steps. So I've got this one off. I'll go ahead and get this one put in. I'll swap the other one, and then I'll torque them both as we go along. So it's time to move on to the rear sections. So, and this is, I'm gonna work on the right rear first, and this is the access panel for it. As you can see, here's the right rear tire, mud flap here. So there are four clips here. So there's one here, there's two here, and there's one right here. So we gotta take those clips off. So all of the clips, there they are, they are all removed now. Managed to get them all out without breaking any. And I didn't mention this before, but you see this little tube right here. When you're putting this back together, make sure this tube is here. This is the vent tube for the battery, since the battery is located inside the cab of the car, it's gotta be able to vent out. And that's what that tube is for. So make sure that that is back in place when you're putting this panel right here. If you go up the side of it, there is a clip right there. And let me show it to you right here. So it's this one right here. So, and you just need to get a large flathead screwdriver and just put this in here to turn that. So once you get that piece off, once you unscrew that, and you can actually see, there's the, let me point this out to the screwdriver here. So there is the screw right there that that plastic nut screws to. So just unscrew that and the whole piece comes right out. There's your vent tube right there. So and there's the inside of our fender that we need to go ahead and stick our piece to. So we'll get that all cleaned up. And again, mine's an early 23, so it does not have the markings on it for exactly where this goes. So I'm going off of pictures of what other people have done and getting uh, the exact location from those. And it's going to be very, very close. Close enough, I think, that it will work just fine. So you can see it. So you can kind of see this second. There's two of those little blocks there. And it, the tape started at roughly the bottom of that block that second block and went up from there in the videos that I could see. So you can tell I cleaned that. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, that one's done. We'll go ahead and put the panel back on. Good chance to clean it if you want to at this point and uh, wipe anything down from the inside. And we'll go from there. 
I'm going to do the uh, driver's side. Okay. The right rear is done. I'll button back up. So now we will come over and let's knock out the left rear. Same procedure as the right rear. All right. There's the left rear all done. So should be good to go. Now just a matter of putting the panel back on and we'll, and I'll go ahead and replace the two subframe bolts. We'll go from there. We will be done with the upgrades. So there is the bolt right there. Let's see if I can. Right through there, right there. That is the chassis bolt. So that is the 22 that we're gonna take off. So normally I would use my impact wrench and just pop it right off. But my wife is sleeping right now because she worked last night and I don't want to wake her up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this the old fashioned way with my breaker bar. And get this sucker off of. That's what I want to do. Just get her broken loose. So this panel right here, there's, looks like there's a 10 millimeter bolt there. There's two clips here. There's two clips here that intersect with this panel. Oh, there's a third clip right there. Uh, Trying to see what else. Oh, there's a 10 millimeter. Oh, and there's two more 10 millimeter bolts over there. to take it all the way off. Just drop those couple, being able to pull that down. But come around here and I'll show you. So now we can see the bolts a lot better. There it is right there. So, and now that we got some playroom, I'll show you with this thing. So it was this, this flap right here that I could push in but it was just, you know, kept wanting to spring out. So if you actually just take off the, this one 10 millimeter bolt and these two clips, it was enough to pull this down and it would give you a lot more, um, wow, ability to bend this out of the way. Holy crap. There's a lot of debris up in this tray, man. Oh, and so here is the, so you see this one right here? That's where there's a, a bolt. So way up in the top of that sucker. So. so here are the different bolts. So this is, a, this is the 23 and this is the 24 model year bolts and you can see the different head sizes which on the right is the 22 millimeter out of the 2023 and on the left is the 24 millimeter that was in the 2024 model and the upgrade one so the other difference that i see is on the tip 
I, I don't know what that difference makes, if any, but there are four of those cuts and they're and it appears to be more tapered than this one. And there's just, you can kind of see them there, there's three more mild indentations on this one. So for whatever that's worth. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one put in. So the new bolt is in place. And now to torque this, torque spec is 106 foot pounds, but you want to torque it in three steps at 35, 70, and then 106. So do it in three steps. So that's what I'm going to do. So first one is 35 foot pounds. And I'll get that set up right now. All right, bolt is torqued. At the three different levels. So it's torqued at 106 foot pounds now. So that is set. And I vacuumed out all the loose dirt. Still a lot of nasty up in there, but I'll go ahead and snap all these clips and these couple of bolts back up in place now. So now we'll get that back where it belongs and get the other one done real quick. I, I do think you could probably get um, around that um, tab there and, and do it. And if I was just doing it myself, I probably um, would have done something like that, but I wanted to be able to show you guys a little bit better angle. So I wasn't going to loosen this tray on this side, but I heard this stuff, so I just wanted to clean it out. Look at look at all of the look at all of the debris. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, there are holes right here and stuff in there to let the water out but it doesn't let these rocks and stuff out let's get plucked up in there so i'll vacuum that out real quick too and then there's our bolt we'll knock that out real quick so the second one is out got the second one ready to go back in here Lot. Uh, I always get these started by hand. I can't imagine cross threading something like this and having to deal with that issue. There we go, it's threading up there nicely. Okay, cut. I vacuum this and there's still, look at this. Oh. You hear that? <laughs> God. And look at the size of this sucker. That was up in there. <laughs> it's too big for the small nozzle on the vacuum to even suck it up. Alrighty, with the help of my handy torque wrenches, I use my 3 8 for the 35 foot pounds. And then my half inch for 70 and 106. So she's all torqued down, ready to go. So, well, and like I said, while you could probably do it without loosening this, I think if you undo the two clips here and the one 10 millimeter bolt, it, it, it gives you a little more leeway and a little more room to play with it and get in there. And then you can clean out all the crap that's in there too at the same time. So it, uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to, to do that if you've, got, if you've got the chance and you're under here anyway, so you 
Might as well. Spend a couple extra minutes and do your due diligence. So anyway, guys, that is it. <clears throat> so in kind of a recap, we were able to do our front, <clears throat> the front um, fender vents. We did the front aluminum tape and we did the steering rack nuts and bolts. We did the rear aluminum tape and we did the rear subframe bolts. So those are kind of the main things that all the 23 model year owners are able to go ahead and um, upgrade to the 24 specs. And uh, so we'll see what happens. I, I don't know if I'm gonna notice it. I know that uh, <clears throat> the people that are, you know, intimate with the cars, like the, oh, I'm blanking on his name right now, but the guy that uh, drives for Toyota, he noticed it and so I figured for the small price it was worth doing it and uh, so anyway I hope this helps for those of you that want to do it it's not difficult to do take your time but uh, and just uh, have a good time doing it it's not hard and uh, improve your GR any way that you can think of this as one of those uh, OEM plus mods just improving it and getting up to the latest and greatest and, uh, you know, take some time, hit that smash or smash that like button and, and subscribe and have a grow my channel. And until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road.